okay boys let's start the lesson today's lesson this is from oxford learner bookshelf i am here yes. yeah. no problem i'll give you i will give you no problem okay it is just done and now i'm starting the lesson i will give you at the end of the lesson all right so let's start the lesson the lesson is about cross word puzzles cross word puzzles and this is a listening and a speaking class uh, just uh, let me take you to yesterday's lesson that was about how can games compare to real life and you know that uh, we talk a lot about the similarities and differences between games and life it was basically the unit question as usual and we discuss different objectives adaf of the lessons reviewing and editing notes listening for names and dates we will also learn about word family suffixes imperative verbs and you will try to understand the word stress in pronunciation and last but not least you actually try to practice how to give instruction in speaking so that was all which we have done yesterday we discussed the questions in the classroom and we listened to a q classroom online where sophie felix and marcus have some discussion so now we have to and oh yeah the most important part before starting the listening yesterday actually we reviewed the listening and you learn few new and difficult words those were eight words if you remember those were eight words so let me take the first word developer and write down in the chat box developer so what's your understanding about the word developer can someone tell me the word developer yes mohammed uh, yes he's a person who develops apps or games very good so what one definition could be a developer who develops who creates now what he creates it depend on the situation for example he creates games he creates some design he creates some lesson for example teachers usually develops lesson so developer is a person who develops okay so that's one thing and let me share you the meaning in arabic as well so you will have more understanding tawar 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 okay so how do we pronounce this word develop 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 okay so this is the word another one was instant instant can someone tell me what's instant uh, mohammed uh, al ahmadi you are always a good student so i don't want from your side i need some other student to come and tell me what do we mean by instant instant somebody who is hurried all the time instant yes umar another nice mm. student yes, yes. Um, it's like something happens immediately immediately excellent in arabic for immediately okay that is instant so can some other student other than umar can give me an example of instant yesterday i showed to you a picture with the word instant so can someone give an example let me switch on my ac because it's very hot here in the meantime try to find out an example of instant instant Can someone tell me the meaning of instant? Oh, uh, 
Muhammad Salah, I'm looking for someone else. Okay, you can tell me, no problem. Uh, do you want an example of instant? Yes, I showed to you a picture yesterday, you remember, with some food material. Yes, instant noodles. Yeah, remember. instant noodles. And we talk about that sometimes it's not healthy because they are processed. So, for example, most of the time, my son actually asks his mother for instant noodle. He wants all the time some instant noodles. So, instant means immediate. Okay. Another word is object. Object. Object has many meanings. Khalid, another excellent student of my class. Yes, Khalid. What do you mean by object? Uh, it's mean uh, the, the goal or, or purpose of the things. All right, Khalid. So what's your goal in your life? My goal in my life is uh, to be a successful man and learn uh, about uh, subconscious mind. Wow, great. Subconscious mind. I love your yes. goal. Wow, good. So you can bring many ideas to the life. Very yes, good. Exactly. You are always excellent, mashallah. So object, can someone tell me another meaning of object? Any other good student in the class? Any other meaning other than ahadaf, other than objectives? Object, other than goal, what is object? Or if you can tell, and if you can just uh, uh, tell me what actually is our object when we play a game what do we need what do we want if we play a game what are our objectives for example you are playing football in the field so what would be your object as a noun i need you to use it in noun as a noun maybe player Maybe player, okay. Yeah. But what is your exact goal? What do you want to do? And I'm using this word. Your object could be to goal, okay? So when you say to goal, that means it's a verb. All right, so you could have many goals in your life. Same, you could have, you want to have many goals when you play football. So you can actually beat the other team. All right, another word, clues, aha, uh -huh, clues. And you know that I usually give so many clues to you in the classroom. So what is the word? Yes, Nawaf, come on, good student. Yes, S is of information or offenders. Used in an uh, infant session. Yeah, yeah. The of actually clues. If you use in a, in a in an example, uh, just like I ask you to give the meaning of a word clue, and then I give you a clue. I say Nawaf, it means help. It comes like help, so you can understand the word clue and help. So if teachers help you in something, usually he gives you clues. Okay? So sometimes, just like I gave you a clue that when you are solving a multiple choice question and there are two or three multiple answers, you need to see which one is very much connected. And that is the answer. The others are usually not connected. So that's a clue which I usually give it to you in the classroom for exam purpose. So clue, that is clue. Thank you, Nawaf. Always try, guys. Okay, whatever you can do. Another one is very important. Original. Original. Yes, Abdullah Muhammad. It's like uh, the thing that they took it from or the first. It's like the first thing, you know. Original. Uh -huh. Excellent. You're always excellent also in the class. Original. Original. For example, uh, if you want to go in the market and to buy a phone, mm -hmm. so what do you think the original 
phone. Where does the phone origin? Remember the phone, the brand of the phone. Yes, Khalid? Where you can buy the original phone? Yes, Khalid? Yes, doctor. Original, it's been uh, the first or earliest uh, of things. Is it okay mm -hmm. like this? I, I went to Jarir Bookstore and I asked them, I want to buy a Samsung phone. So he said, do you need original or you need the one who has been made in Malaysia? I said, what do you mean by original? They said, actually, original means this Samsung phone is being made in Korea. So if it is made of Korea, that means original because Korea has the first factory of Samsung. So he said, and if you don't need original, I can give you Malaysian one, which is cheap, which is not very expensive. Understand? Yes. So sometimes, sometime, I understand. That's original. Okay. So we have already discussed it yesterday. Just I'm repeating so that you can get an idea when you start your listening task. Another one is version. Yes, uh, this is another word which is near to the word original, version. What do we mean by version? Somebody can come up with the answer, some good student. Version. Yes, Khalid, again. I really want other student also, but it's okay. No problem. You can come on. Yeah, okay. uh, I think it's mean uh, like a uh, type of things. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, Ziad. Good to see you. Yes, it's uh, for example, uh, iPhone 12 and uh, iPhone 11. Oh, great example. Version. The same thing, but has some modern features. That's yeah. version or even it's not necessary all the time modern, maybe not modern, but it has a similar thing version. For example, sometime I say uh, uh, the sons in, in the house are version of each other. They are same, quite same in terms of face and features. So version, version means a kind of modern thing, the same issue and same thing, but a different version just like look at we are using blackboard so we are using the latest version of blackboard there are many other version you might be using windows 10 windows 10 is the latest version of uh, you know uh, Microsoft Word and windows 7 is the old version and the original was might be Windows 1. I don't know. I don't remember. But the original one was Windows 1, which is not at all in the market now. And it is not actually workable. So original and version, quite similar in terms of talk. Another last two words, update. Uh -huh, update. Update. Yes, Basel, update. Uh, update uh, means uh, make uh, something uh, uh, more uh, current or modern. And oh, uh, for example, yes, yes, yes. For please, example, uh, uh, iPhone 12 uh, has a new update. Uh -huh. What happened uh, sometime when you update? Do you like the update or you don't like the update? Some updates uh, have uh, some uh, uh, problem, but uh, uh, always uh, they solve uh, many problems. Yeah, but you are right. Excellent. You know uh, what happened? Uh, I was using Windows 7 and it was very user friendly and I like to use Windows 7. And then, you know, my office said, uh, Dr. Naeem, you have to update your windows from 7 to 10. And they have updated 
from uh, 7 to 10. And it was not easy for me to understand the features in Windows 10. Now, and that is the another version of the Windows 10. So when they have updated, what happened? Actually, I was thinking for the original. And original for me was Windows 7. So <laughs> these are actually the situation in real life. Anyways, thank you. The last one, realize. Realize. Let me give you uh, the same example. I was using, and you know, I'm using all those four words. I was using Windows 7, which was the original version of Windows in my laptop. I updated it with Windows 7, and then I realized it's not easy for me to use Windows 10 in the beginning. So all these four words in one example. Okay. I can write down for you. I was using Windows 7 original and then I updated it to Windows Windows 10 later I realized that it's not easy to use it in the beginning Okay, so we can use all these words in just one go. I think I didn't use the word version. I was using Windows 7 original version. And then I updated it to Windows 10. Okay, good. So these are some of the words which you have already learned before it. Now it is the time for you to be ready to listen and take notes. But before we go and listen, you need to understand what exactly is the topic. The topic of listening is crossword puzzles. Crossword puzzles. And you can see the picture here. So this listening is about crossword puzzle. Actually, you are going to listen to a game developers Talk about the history of the crossword puzzle. History, tarikh. Look at the photo. How is the 1913 crossword puzzle different from later crossword puzzle? So what is actually crossword puzzle? What's crossword puzzle? Let's find out through some authentic definition. A puzzle consisting of a grid of squares and blanks into which words crossing vertically and horizontally are written according to clues. Clues. There are some clues. Let's look at this clue. These are some examples of crossword puzzles. Are you interested to solve some crossword puzzle? Okay. Let me give you an example. Let me try to find out an example. If possible, I don't want to find a very difficult one. This is kind of thing. In English, if you want to learn more Vocabulary, you can use crossword puzzle a lot. Look at, this is crossword puzzle. It has vertical and horizontal lines. Okay, vertical means coming from up to down. Okay, horizontal means coming up from left to right or right to left. So these are vertical and horizontal lines. And here are some clues. Not to follow the rule. Okay, not to follow the rule. So some word 
which has a meaning okay of not to follow the rule will come somewhere here and then somehow we will solve that puzzle like this okay so through this actually we improve our english ability look at this one which word do you see the first which word do you see the first and you can give me the meaning of this clue this uh, puzzle which word do you know the meaning here there are some words can you identify one word very easy and simple words are here yes mohammed indiana jones indiana jones oh wow so what is indiana jones and who is indiana jones by the way i think he was um, uh, someone who likes to like have adventures oh great great mohammed you are mashallah very nice a student like for, if you don't know just go ahead and go and find out who is that person so this way you improve your ability indiana jones an american media franchise based on the adventures correct mama sir and you can see many movies of indiana jones all right so very good nice another word uh khalid you want to say sir yes you want to find some word strange yes which word strange love a strange love a strange love what's a strange love you were talking about subconscious mind strange yes. love you usually love with your family but if you are involved in the love of a strange person that is a strange love something like that something like that okay i don't want to go more about it just leave another one albara you do you find some word here in the yes. word cross puzzle uh, wrong sorry uh, wrong wrong where is that word wrong let me also find out wrong aha uh -huh. but that's wrong i think oh i p r o n g i think i'm not sure but even wrong means khata galat yes. any other student interested to find a word in this cross puzzle any other student yes omar always a good student yes uh lines you can find lions. it on the right Yes. Uh -huh. it is, is it vertical or is it horizontal? No, no vertical. You know? vertical. Vertical. Where is that one? I have to find out. I'm getting old. Vertical lines. Oh, where is that one? Huh? Can you guide right. me? Yes. On the right. Up, up, yes. yes. Up, up, up. Oh, yes. here, lions. So who are lions like you, huh? <laughs> Predators. When you are a yeah. lion, you like lion or you don't like lions no i don't like them it's an animal by the way yes. okay mm -hmm. and if you remember we used a word for lions in predator excellent fantastic predator predators are lions this usually okay Ziyad, can you tell me another word in this puzzle? yes uh, i found a strange it's strange yes it's strange it's strange means you don't know someone that is strange great great participation nice thank you so now it's time for us to listen and take notes now the most important part of this listening is not only to get information but to take notes and you know how to take notes we have we already talked about many you know ways you can take notes for example you can take notes by using a pen and a notebook and you can take notes of keywords or you can take notes of the main idea of the listening actually it helps you to understand the material to understand the knowledge okay and it will improve your listening ability as well so what i will do basically i will play this listening and i will actually hold this listening after a little while and then we will discuss it okay so first time you will listen full and second time i will hold it and you can find out some reading text also so you can relate it with your listening so are you ready for that 
Okay, go ahead. I'm starting. Unit four, listening one, activity A. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for inviting me to this meeting of the game club tonight. My name is Alex Vargas, and I'm a game developer. I write word games and other kinds of puzzles for newspapers. And yes, I do have a fun job. I'm going to introduce you to a new kind of word game that I'm working on. But first, we're going to talk about the history of a classic word game, the crossword puzzle. You know, it's that grid with little black and white squares and a list of clues. The object is to solve the puzzle by finding the answers to the clues and writing them in the blank white squares. The modern crossword puzzle was probably based on an ancient Roman game of word squares. These were squares with words reading down and across. In 1890, an Italian named Giuseppe Eroldi published a small crossword puzzle. It was a word square with just eight words, four across and four down, and clues to help the solver. However, the crossword, as we know it today, was invented by a New York journalist named Arthur Wynne. Wynne was from England, but lived in the United States from the age of 19. In 1913, he published a puzzle that he called a word cross in the newspaper New York World. This original crossword was in the shape of a diamond with no black squares. Wynn later created a version with black squares and changed the shape to a square. Wynn's crossword was an instant success. In fact, crossword puzzles became so popular that the New York Public Library got worried. More people were using the library's dictionaries and encyclopedias for crossword puzzles than for research. The crossword puzzle is probably still the most popular word game in the world. There are even crossword puzzles in Chinese. In recent years, people are beginning to realize that crossword puzzles are more than just fun and games. There are many benefits to doing crosswords. Some medical experts believe that doing crosswords helps keep our brains more active and therefore healthier. Doing a crossword forces you to use your brain to remember facts about people and events. You often remember things you didn't know you knew. You also learn a lot of new things as you do research to find the answers to puzzle clues. Now, about my game. I'm developing a new word game. To be honest, I think crosswords are a little old-fashioned. I wanted to update the crossword puzzle and make it more social. You can play this game with a group or even play it online. Its name is Cross Purposes. I have some sample copies with me tonight. Now, the rules for the game are... Okay, so now you listen to the first time. What I'm going to do, I'm playing it for the second time as well. But this time, you will not see the written text. Okay, and then I will... Or you want to see the written text. Okay, let me show you written text. Let me keep it for you to see so that you can easily understand. And then I will ask you some question, stopping at every paragraph or, or after a while. Okay, so please concentrate, take notes. You may use pen, you may use a notebook, you may use your phone to take notes. It's up to you. All right, so I will stop it after a while and i may discuss it with you okay let's start again unit four listening one activity a good evening ladies and gentlemen thanks for inviting me to this meeting of the game club tonight my name is alex vargas and i'm a game developer okay so my question is that when do we say good evening what time starts evening? Yes, Mama Salah? After Isha, maybe. After Isha? 
Yes. Ziyad, what do you think? Uh, Very. Yes. After. When the evening starts. The evening starts after 6 p.m. Actually, usually evening starts when sun sets. Okay. So we say when sun sets, when sun go to his home, <laughs> then we say good evening. And before that, from the noon, afternoon. from noon until the sun sets, we say good afternoon. Yes. All right. Just like I said in the beginning, I said good afternoon. So that's good afternoon. All right. So we say good evening after sunsets. Okay. So do you do we say good evening uh, after twelve o'clock in the night? Yes, they are. We said uh, midnight, not. Uh... So in midnight, what do we say? Good, good midnight, or we say what do we say? Good night. Good night. Yes. Anybody else can correct Ziad? Yes, Umar. Uh, good morning. Yes, we say then good morning. We say good night when we go to the bed. So I can say here safely, for example, morning. Good morning. Actually, it starts from 12 to noon. Noon means when the sun is on the top. Afternoon starts from afternoon. <laughs> so af good afternoon. Good afternoon it starts after noon until the sun sets. Good evening it starts after the sun sets until the midnight. We use good night when we when we go to the bed. Is that clear? Clear for everyone? Yes. Okay, so good morning. It starts from 12 to noon, 12 midnight to noon. Good afternoon it starts after noon until the sun sets. Good evening it starts after the sun sets until the midnight. And we use good night when we go to the bed. And actually, we wish someone good night. Okay. So this is about good morning and good night. I just is, you know, ask you to recap. Okay, who was a game developer? What's the name of the game developer? Yes, Khalid? Yes, his right. name is uh, Alex Vargas. Alex Vargas, okay, so it's very simple question. It's not difficult. Usually a person who develops game is a game developer. I'm sure you all like game development. Okay, now listen more. I write word games and other kinds of puzzles for newspapers. And yes, I do have a fun job. I'm going to introduce you to a new kind of word game that I'm working on. So why do we play word game? Can someone tell me? Some excellent student in the class. Why? And I'm writing in the chat box the question. Why do we play word games? Have you ever played word games? Yes, Abdullah Muhammad. Uh, because it's good for uh, our vocabulary. And in the same time, it can be fun. Very good. Excellent. MashaAllah. I think you guys could be my teacher. Oh, great. So if we, at the same time, we have a fun, we learn new words. Yes, Khalid, you want to say something? Yes, also, we can uh, train our minds from this uh, word uh, 
for the buzzer. Oh, yes, you're right. We can use like that as well. So thank you very much for that. Now listen more. But first, we're going to talk about the history of a classic word game, the crossword puzzle. History? Something old, something from old time. Tariq in Arabic, okay? You know, it's that grid with little black and white squares and a list of clues. The object is to solve the puzzle by finding the answers to the clues and writing them in the blank white squares. The modern crossword puzzle was probably based on an ancient Roman game of word squares. These were squares with words reading down and across. In 1890, an Italian named Giuseppe Eroldi published a small crossword puzzle. It was a word square with just eight words, four across and four down, and clues to help the solver. However, the crossword, as we know it today, was invented by a New York journalist named Arthur Wynne. Okay, so the person who invented, and I'm writing the question here in the chat, who invented the crossword puzzle, you heard of it, okay? Which city he was from? Which city he was from? Or which country, you can say, you can tell me. You just listen to it. Yes, Umar? Uh, yes, uh, his name is Arthur Wayne. Mm -hmm. And he's from England. From England? Think about mm -hmm. it again. Anybody else? Think about. Yes, Abdullah? Well, it says an Italian guy. So, yeah, he's from Italy. Is, he's from Italy? I'm purposely not showing you the script. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see yeah. again. Okay. Let's see again and see. In 1890, an Italian named Giuseppe Eroldi published a small crossword puzzle. It was a word square with just eight words, four across and four down, and clues to help the solver. However, the crossword, as we know it today, was invented by a New York journalist named Arthur Wynn. Okay. So where he was from? New York. I, the modern one, he was from New York. And somehow you are right, Omar and Abdullah, that, uh, you know, he was actually from Italy. Uh, the first one who actually used it. Okay. But I'm sure both of them were not from England. Okay. All right. Okay, now, and then wine was from England. Uh -huh, all right. Okay, now let's listen more. Wynn was from England, but lived in the United States from the age of 19. Okay, so he was basically an English person, but he was living in the United States. Very good, excellent. In 1913, he published a puzzle that he called a word cross in the newspaper New York World. This original crossword was in the shape of a diamond with no black squares. Wynn later created a version with black squares and changed the shape to a square. Wynn's crossword was an instant success. It okay, so when he said it was an instant success, what does it mean? It was let me write down in the chat box. It was an instant success. What does it mean? Yes, Mohammed. Uh, immediate success or immediate success. Everybody liked it. And I'm sure it became a trend at that time. I wish some other student also participate in the class. Please come on and try to answer. Okay, I want to see um, Nawaf, I want to see Muhammad Turki, Hatim. Please come on and talk about Basil, Yasir, Abdulaziz. Okay, so I need you, Safwan, Rakan, 
to talk about in the class, okay? And take part in the lesson. Okay, listen more. In fact, crossword puzzles became so popular that the New York Public Library got worried. More people were using the library's dictionaries and encyclopedias for crossword puzzles than for research. The crossword puzzle is probably still the most popular word game in the world. There are even crossword puzzles in Chinese. In recent years, people are beginning to realize that crossword puzzles are more than just fun and games. There are many benefits to doing crosswords. Some medical experts believe that doing crosswords helps keep our brains more active and therefore healthier. Doing a crossword forces you to use your brain to remember facts about people and events. You often remember things you didn't know you knew. You also learn a lot of new things as you do research to find the answers to puzzle clues. Now, about my game. Okay. So, uh, in the beginning, actually, we discuss about the benefit of crossword. So the benefit of cross words are number one we said it's a fun number two we said it's learning new words what else now you listen to that yes Mohammed. healthy for our brain yes healthy brain having a healthy brain what else Yes, Basel, can you tell me something else now? Thank you. You come. Make your uh, fox uh, better. Oh, yes. Actually, it focuses you better. Very good. Excellent. Basel, you should take part in the class all the time. Focuses us better. Okay. So these are something. If you have something else in mind, tell me. I will write down here. But this is a fantastic thing. We can use for many benefits you know benefits fida profit benefit something we love to have okay now listen more now he's talking about his own game i'm developing a new word game to be honest i think crosswords are a little old-fashioned i wanted to update the crossword puzzle and make it more social you can play this game with a group or even play it online. Its name is Cross Purposes. I have some sample copies with me tonight. Now, the rules for the game are... Okay, so what's the name of the new cross puzzle game? What's the name of new cross puzzle? Sorry, cross puzzle, puzzle and crossword. Yes, Mohammed. Yes, uh, cross purposes. Cross purposes, Mohammed. You are an excellent student, mashallah. Cross purposes. All right. Thank you. So this is all about our lesson today on crossword puzzle. It's a basically a listening lesson, and thank you very much for participating. Now we have to. Go to the book exercise to finish the lesson.